All right, so here's the thing. I made way too much. I already knew that. I had to make the whole packet because the whole packet is defrosted, so I know the leftovers weren't going to get eaten. They were going to get thrown in the garbage. So what I said was, since we're going to put them on a sandwich anyway, not, not a macaroni tonight, let me see if I can do something a little bit different. So I don't have a glass uh, baking dish. Whatever, I used to have them. I don't have them anymore. So this is what I decided to do with that. So we're going to try it out. You'll watch it with me. But anyway, this is my chicken color parmesan. The also, also, um, I didn't make fresh sauce. I already had some leftover, so I just used that. But uh, this is what we got. So I got two layers of my of my chicken cutlet um, on the bottom. Well, what I did was this. I put my large cutlets that I was going to use primarily on the bottom, and then I put a, a layer of um, of uh, provolone right there. What I usually use on Robin sandwiches. Layer on provolone on both. Um, sliced tomatoes, and then I put the other layer of like the smaller cutlets that you saw me kind of making up before. Put them on top, and did another layer of the provolone, and then um, the uh, the marinara, and then the, the mozzarella, and some Parmesan cheese, some more tomatoes, salt and pepper, and we're gonna see how this baby comes out. So I got the oven on three. What the hell did I do it on? Three seventy-five. Ooh, no shit. Go down. Three seventy-five. <laughs> 375 is when we got it on, so we're waiting for it to preheat. I'm gonna throw this bad boy in the oven. Most of these cutlets are already done. They don't have to be though when, you, when you're putting them in the pan or when you're frying them up because they're going in the oven anyway. But for the most part, since I make them so thin, I butterfly them after I, I clean them. I cut them open, butterfly them up, flip them over. I like shit thin like that. I don't like thick in my mouth. Uh, some people might, I don't know, it's not me. I also gotta make sure the veins out of this. It's nasty. Nothing worse than taking a bite out of chicken and getting that thing in your mouth. A piece of grizzle. Or even more, it's like a beak or a toe. Anyway, anyway not kidding around. So we hit to the oven, it gets preheated. I'm going to throw this puppy in there for a couple minutes. Uh, probably about 30 minutes. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll get some bread. So I'll throw it on there. The, the kids didn't want, um, well, I didn't say kids. Robert didn't want to get an Italian bread. Billy's at work, so I couldn't ask him. Every time I get on Italian bread, nobody ever eats it. So I figured what I'll do, since Bilo had these suckers, buy one, get one free top of the other loaves that I have up there. They gotta go anyway. We'll eat them on there. You can actually probably do it on the Kaiser roll. The Kaiser rolls around here are hard to come by. But that would be good on the Kaiser roll. So that's about it. This thing should only take a couple minutes to cook. Get everything where it's done. I'll cut it up into sections, throw it on some bread. There you go. Didn't take very long at all. One more quick look. All right, very good. What is it? For those about to cook, salute you. See you later.